That rooster is like telling us it's time to go. <laughs> yes. Oh. There you go. Oh, what is it? Siding coil nailer. Two and a half inch coil siding nailer. No way. That'll be number two so we can actually work today. All of us. Sweet. Instead of just playing um, round robin with that other one. Hey, uh, did you buy any nails? No. Jamie has requested that we break down this big stack of scaffold here because it's about impossible to put siding on behind it. Even though it's here and it's nice, we just gotta get it out of the way. It took me like four hours to trim that window behind the scaffolding. Yeah. yeah I don't think the scaffolding had anything to do with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Ray and I are installing this little stepped piece of fascia here to give it a little bit of a 3D shadowed look on the fascia board. And we installed it way long, like uh, six feet long uh, over length, and we're gonna chop it flush with this piece of fascia. Pro tip, we're gonna cut the bulk of the length off first and let that drop. And then we can come in with a handsaw and cut that little chunk that's left. Uh, that way the weight of the big piece isn't like breaking that last little bit before you cut through with the handsaw, and that'll tend to happen. That's a tip uh, I think Jamie learned from some tree cutting guys on this old house, whatever the landscaper guy name is. Somebody will know in the comments, I forget his name. Yeah. Uh, that's a good tip. Heads! <laughs> that was a little late, a little late. Oh, heads up! I don't want, what? Uh, you got something, a little something right there. Here, get it for me. No, it's cock. Is it a booger? No, it's cock. Oh, get it for me. I can't see it. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> That looks way better. Tight is 135.3. I'm the cut guy today, so I'm going to take advantage of my time here because I'm usually not the cut guy to tell you what's going on and how we're making this easier. We've got our cut station that we always have that elevates our material. In this case, it's kind of flimsy, so it, it keeps it flat. That's nice. You can also cut it anywhere without it binding on your blade. Also using a cordless saw for long material makes it way easier. You're not getting wrapped up in your cord. Your cord's not getting wrapped up in your cutoffs. If I was gonna do uh, like cutting this in and that in with a corded saw, I'd want two saws. Make it a lot easier. So. Uh, just a couple things that can make cutting this long material faster, easier. And I'm using a little turkey saw today because uh, this material's thin. I don't need the big Larry Hahn 10 amp hour stacked lithium 14 pound, you know, saw working me all day. Right here, Jason's spacing up an eighth extra per row for four rows to give us a total of a half inch higher right there so that across the top of this window, the bottom of the next row of siding will go right across that piece of trim, perfect. And you can't notice like an eighth inch difference per row spacing by the naked eye. As you can see by looking at it, it all looks the same. And that's what they did on this old house to make everything line up top and bottom of windows. I, dude, I watched the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. I can't. I can't do it. Are you serious? Right now. I, just, I can't, man. You cannot eat this. Not right. I can't even look at it right now. Really? <laughs> just, Are you joking? You, like, not put it in my face. <laughs> what? Dude, we went to the <laughs> deli just now, and the guy behind the counter had a big old bud of roast beef yeah. he pulled out, and he was like, <laughs> Is it that bad? He eats people. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The guys from Huber are here and they've been inspecting everything, taking pictures, looking around, making sure everything is just right. Just so you guys know, we're being watched. 
make sure we do stuff right. What do you guys think of our uh, zip wall header here? Is that going to pass code? It passes right now. Okay. Paige, I want to let you know that he has done way better at not calling OSB plywood since you were here at, on the last job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>right there. Arlo's little like, pro tip. Yeah. And look at that. Now you got a little slope on it. They don't teach you that in flashing school, do they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they don't. I got a mouthful of jerky, Bob. <laughs> Did you see Ray won't eat the jerky because he watched that Jeffrey Dahmer show? What? He would not even look at the jerky. I will attempt to cut it like this, like this, like that. I'll leave that little flap, bend it down, and then I'll cut this piece out. And then this will all be cut across here. And when I fold that around the corner, this will lay on top of that. And then this little fin will wrap around the corner on that. Holy crap, all right, demonstrate. We've done all the lap siding that we can do on the lower level. The main level here is gonna be a board and batten and then lap again up there. We don't have the panels on site to do the board and batten. So we're gonna finish out the day doing some of these corner boards. And I think the electrician's here, Nate, if you remember him from previous videos. So let's go say what's up. You know, we, and we may or may not have any upper cabinets. There is gonna be a, a fan, a vent above, and we'll build like a hood thing right here. I don't even know what it's gonna be yet. Okay. That's what he likes to hear. Yeah, we'd have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, we need power for that up top. Uh, electric on the range, no gas in the house. As far as I know, we're not going to do any gas appliances. Um, of course, dedicated for the fridge. Um, what else in here? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we'll find that on top. Washing machine. Stacked or side by side? Uh, side by side, full size, standard washer dryer. Did you notice there was something different for Nate? Slightly different? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's got the mountain man look going well, I love it. It's my winter coat. Yeah. Keeping me warm. It gets cold here sometimes. Yeah. Winter coat. I like that. Yeah. Winter coat. You got the gear you want one day. You know, I just never have been able to. <laughs> I get the Joe Dirt beard comes in. When I Joe Dirte. <laughs> Joe Dirte. Let's take a quick break from our video to thank our sponsor for today, Blundstone Boots. If you didn't realize it already, good footwear is top level important for people like me who are on their feet for eight hours a day. And it's normal to get over 10,000 steps in a workday over uneven terrain while carrying extra weight of a tool belt and materials. Just ask anyone who does this for a living, it's no joke. My Blundstone Work Series boots have left my feet and body feeling fantastic and ready to go for the next day. And on top of the safety toe that protects against a 2000 joule impact and electrical hazard resistance, they're a great mix of stability and all day comfort. Their work series boot is also surprisingly lightweight and have an easy on off zip side that's true to their original 500 series boots that they've been making since 1870. I have a pair of those boots as well and they are fantastic. And to help alleviate heat, which by the way is my biggest pet peeve about wearing boots when my feet are too hot, the Work Series has a thermal regulating bamboo lining. If you're not happy with your current work boots or just need a new pair, do yourself a favor and check out Blundstone Boots at blundstone.com or just click the link in our video description. Thanks again to Blundstone Boots for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. That was a different location because I'm at Travel League basketball today with Todd. What's up? He's the man on the camera. Right there with it. Watch this movie. Don't see this on HGTV. There's the door. That's pretty clear. I think that's pretty obvious. We've never done that before. Yeah. Well, if you guys took any bets about the whole off-center doorway thing, whether Jamie would have us fix it or not, 
Let this be your answer. I just fixed it. Now it's center, Jamie. All right, one down. Let's see. One, <laughs> two, three to go, I think. Uh, yeah, about that. All right, good job. It's Appreciate that. Way to go. Here. Hey, I reviewed the footage and I gotta tell you that you were correct about the door centering thing. Yeah. We knew Jamie was gonna make you fix it. <laughs> Dude, he didn't he wasn't in his house for a minute and a half the first day and was like, that's wrong. <laughs> so I kid you not, dude. I was like, he's gotta, gotta sense on things, dude. I don't know. You guys been staying busy, Nate? Yes, wide open. Yeah, that's good. Mostly new construction or remodeling? What you doing? Yo, yo. Mostly new construction. A little bit of remodeling here and there. You were saying there's still some like problems with supply? Yes. Supply chain? Uh, 400 amp uh, meter combos or meter bases are hard to get right now. Um, the 100 amp meter bases or even the tent pole boxes are hard to get right now. Tent huh. poles. I heard someone say yes. that. You can't get a temporary pole oh, made that's, up. That's bad news. You can't even start. Dude, hey, we got to sell ours. Well, we should. Yeah. Well, then what if we need one? <laughs> I don't know. What about good contractors? Are they hard to come yeah. by? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> thing is not great for ripping is it It doesn't want to go made for cross cut you might be on like 300 feet of cable here too well i think i need a bigger saw <laughs> i don't know let's try I, now i'm gonna do the chop we'll try the chop here we go Ooh, it's binding yeah drop her right, down let's, let's get another yeah cut. to get another one what a relief cut let's see what that does for us all right we're gonna have to uh employ deploy a little method here. Of course, I don't want the saw to come back and hit my chisel, so I gotta stay yeah. forward here. You know, that saw looks so big and huge and powerful, but there's, you know, the radius on the blade is so big that it doesn't take a lot to stop it. It has a lot of leverage extended yes. out there somehow. <laughs> it's almost like it doesn't have the power to just shove into a cut but I'm backing it up and letting it rev up a little bit, you know? Use a little bit of dynamic loading and inertia. Yeah, that's one out. way to do it, that's what I'd say. Ooh, look, at, look at that. I know, it's like... <laughs> burr, 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 hey, but it did work, and that was, that was pretty good. I think getting the chisel shoved in there to get that initial binding taken out of the picture, yeah. I think that helped. What are we doing? What, what, why are you ripping these anyway? Why are we doing this? Well, you see, I had this great idea to use these beams for collar ties instead of using like conventional framing. Since they're gonna be exposed, I thought a big solid beam would look cooler. It will. And that's that's right in here, I assume. Ball the yeah. ceiling, hey collar guys. ties. What's up? And yeah. they were just too big. And I actually ordered a few too many beams uh, for these, and these were like really expensive. And so you're gonna so just reuse them. I'm thinking of a good way to use them. Yeah. What are you doing, Seth? You? Inspector Seth is here, everybody straighten up. <laughs> Checking on the progress. Yeah, yeah. Something's happening. Looking good. Something is happening. Appreciate it. Dude, he is checking it out. He just gave that thing the, the eagle eye. Uh, yeah, hey buddy, yeah. Let's let, let's check these guys out. What what is this? The Beam Team? Who who are these guys, anyways? This uh, Beamus and Butthead. Um, yeah. 
All right, then. Yeah, you heard it right. Oh, God. Jamie's like, hey, <laughs> film me. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Every time. Who is that guy? on the beam team? The, the beam guy. team. Beam it's that guy from. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah. Um, who are Let's check these guys out. Yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. Now we can maybe hold a tape up here and get a rough estimation if we want to throw a screw or we can just hold it, hold it up. Go ahead, it's going up to the top of the Oh, don't, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We're just going to eyeball level AC. AC is point to point. Um, we got the bottom. The bottom is AC, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean that's it's probably close to level. Yeah. All right, on this angle I got 25. There. On this angle I got 25, just to see if we're roughly even or whether it is two one or another. I got 28. So okay. 25. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, three. And oh, she heavy. I may be a little late in the morning. Okay. I have a lot of material. I'll definitely be late. <laughs> well, you will? Why? I don't know. I got a bunch of material and a bunch of things to uh, gather up here and be checking on before work. And for people that don't know, if you ever think about being a contractor and maybe you work as a carpenter, being a contractor is basically double the amount of work. So you have your on-site work, like eight hours a day, and then you might put in another two or three hours every day making phone calls outside of work and gathering materials, gathering up tools, you know, organizing the job and work way before the job ever starts that you're putting in time. So, mm. you know, somebody asked on our live chat thing, what does it take to be a great contractor? I think it's being okay with the fact that you're going to spend extra time doing all these things and all the organizational stuff that's never going to leave your head. If it does, that means you forgot and that means <laughs> you're going to be in a bind. Uh, I make a lot of notes, a lot of lists. Yeah. To help me keep me straight, you know. My advice was to be cool as a cucumber. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was like good advice, when, too. Like when people get all worked up? Yes. You just... When when everything you that you stay cool. planned on for the whole job all of a sudden just gets changed to something yeah. different that you've like, never heard of? Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. That's well. a new... Uh, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, we can do that. That's basically uh, good advice, you know? My one question is, is Ginny a person you're going to bring, or is that something else? Uh, that's a generator. Oh, okay. That's why I spelled with a G. Tomorrow. I don't know if that's right, but that's the, I know <laughs> okay. what that is. As all long right. as I know what it is, Sweet. it's right.